I don't think there are any industries that aren't working with cloud at the moment. When you refresh your Netflix page, that's cloud. When you do anything on the internet these days, some sort of cloud is involved. As the way the industry is at the moment, there will always be demand for cloud engineers because companies are putting more stuff into the cloud. It needs supporting, it needs good patterns and practice, it needs the good people to get the good systems to give you the benefits for your clients. So the reason I wanted to join Kubrick is I really liked their hire and train model as I'm someone who doesn't have any background in data at all and I wanted to jump off in a way that I could learn first. Training at the start really helps you learn about the role in very great detail and they also have a great selection of clients. As a woman in an industry where women aren't particularly well represented, I know that Kubrick is really at the forefront of that. You know, they employ a lot of women and I wanted to be in a place where I knew that I would be valued. Looking online, Kubrick appeared to be a really well-respected company. They have clients who are both big and also repeated. You go back to them again and again. So that is why Kubrick appealed to me. In the last decade, we have been experiencing a cloud revolution, like a technological revolution. We see a lot of companies moving from on-premises infrastructure to cloud infrastructure. So it's a great field to be in. As a cloud engineer, you're working with cloud, your cloud platforms, whether that's AWS or on-premise clouds like OpenStack and things like that. So as a cloud engineer, you need to be able to learn something, but also teach that same thing to someone that might not have the background knowledge that you do. And that's one of the things that you do learn at, at, at Kubrick, especially is the show and tell sessions, which are extremely important in my opinion. During training, we got exposed to cloud environments. We had a particular interest in Azure on Microsoft, which was really good. And we kind of got exposed to all areas of that, um, slowly building on knowledge. So we built, did some building of infrastructure of cloud pieces, and then using those infrastructure to build websites, and then also using different parts that you'd use in the cloud, such as Docker or Kubernetes, and then also using things that are more just general data um, applications such as like SQL and Python. And this kind of helps you give a base knowledge. One of the first things that you're being taught is the art of being agile, of DevOps and things like that. So no, you're not going to do anything technical straight ahead, but you're going to learn of how to be in your scrum team. So like smaller groups within your larger team and how to interact with those people and then work on projects. The way the training is structured is we were separated into scrums of, uh, of five people and that I found worked exceptionally well because in a group of five you can all collaborate it's not too big of a group for you to to lose communication and it's just the right size for you to be able to produce really good work and work on projects together. You're always working with people solving things and if you're stuck it always gives you a small group of people you can be like hey can you help me with this problem and someone usually is able to help you as they're like oh I know how to do this or let's look at this together and work through it. This training kind of teaches you tools that are very in demand. You're being introduced to the Microsoft um, cloud platform so Azure and then you're introduced to things like VMs, storage accounts and network so the basics of networking, you're taught that. As with all of the other Kubik training, we'll have a two-week client project to go through. So that will then allow you to work with an external client against a particular requirement they've got, working with their systems, capturing it, working through those requirements, building up a solution, and then presenting it to them in the end. So at the very end of training, we did a final project where our whole cohort worked together as we used all the skills we learned in training to create one product. It's unbelievable how the instructor put all this into four months months because they're very difficult tools and one of the most important thing that I would say is that you're given the foundations here and in the four months you will not become an expert no one can be one and so it's important to grasp the foundations and then build upon it. I think what we cover in the training basically is just gives you a toolbox to allow you to expand when you get to your final role because these things change so quickly. We're, we're really trying to give you an ability to be at the cutting edge of cloud technology. We're not giving you something which is, at the end of the day, you can sort of put in the box and say, yes, I know that now. I'm absolutely, I'm the perfect cloud engineer and I will never learn another thing. What we're trying to give you is the capability to go out and learn more and keep learning. Prior to joining Kubrick, most people that were on the cohort didn't actually have any experience in any kind of programming or anything. They were really new to it. It was a very guided process. Yes, it's intensive. Yes, you have to do the work. But if you take on the challenge, you can definitely come on the other side, someone with the right foundations and grad role might be a bit easier. With this, your growth is just going to be accelerated in, in two years because you have to keep up and then you're going to learn at an exponential rate. If you want to put the work in, 
there is something for you. I can't imagine getting an opportunity like the work that I'm doing right now on client side without that background, without that training uh, which, which Cooper has provided me with. Definitely that has been a, a head start that kind of puts you ahead of the game in, in a lot of different aspects. If you ever was interested in how cloud impacts your life or others' lives, I think this is where you should come to because it's very rare and it's almost unavailable, these roles and like this course and being explained by such a seasoned principal consultant. So yeah, definitely if you're curious and if you're a team player, I think you know this is the place for you. Thank you.